Namaste my friends, welcome to our day number 7 of the 21 days breathwork challenge. We're going to start the session with a short warm up. It's very important to heat up the energy system, to be in the present moment, to create some space in the neck, in the chest, in the shoulders, in the upper back, so that the lungs have lots of space to breathe properly. Yeah, it's maybe 50% of the practice depends on a nice uh, warm-up. Then we're gonna practice what we learned this week. We will apply all the six techniques we just learned. And we end with a short meditation to focus on the heart, to feel the calmness of the mind, and to bring the state of being with us into our daily life. Why I'm doing this breathwork challenge is because we're putting so much importance to yoga, to meditation, to all kinds of diets. But how long you can survive without food? Maybe 40 days, without water, 3 days. But without prana in form of air, oxygen, maximum 20 minutes if you practice a lot. But normal people like you and me, we have a few minutes to live before we will leave this world because we die out of oxygen. So that's why we need to understand the right breathing pattern is most important for the daily life. Whatever you do, whatever diet you follow, whatever workout you do, even in your daily job, we always tend to breathe in our chest. And this pranayama routine we practice today will help us if we practice it once or twice a week for one hour to really deepen our relationship with our body, with our mind and with our breath so that we can experience who we really are. Okay, so we start with a gentle warm up, placing one hand on the side of the head on our ear drop the elbow backwards and down, opening up the neck on the side for a couple of breaths. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, grab your hand, drop him to the other side. And create some spaciousness. You can't do anything wrong. We just warming up the body, experimenting. Okay? Don't go too far. Whatever feels right for you. Interlay your fingers. Place them on the back of your head. Drop your head forward, the elbows facing towards the bottom. Inhale, release, drop your head back, tighten your jawbone, push him forward and up and create some space in the throat area and breathe into it. Release. Inhale. Bring your arms up and fold towards your side just to create some opening on the side of your rib cage. I guess you can't see me in the camera right now, but you can't do anything wrong. We just want to open up the side of our body. Exhale, come to your middle. Inhale, drop towards your other side. Make sure the arm is over the ear and create some opening in this area. Inhale, back to the center.
bring your hands together like this or if you can um, bring your palms together fully pinch your shoulder blades chest pops forward moves out and then draw small circles in each direction about 10 times can be small circles can be bigger circles whatever feels comfortable for you it's all about creating some space in the chest area to open up the shoulders the back okay we change the rotation and other side this is a nice practice to really open up okay release place your fingertips on your shoulders Rotate them backwards. Forward. Now we blow out a candle, but with our nose. And we bring opposite elbow to opposite knee you don't need to touch it just follow this direction active exhale passive inhale And release okay inhale rotate your hands inwards all the way up make yourself wide and long and then exhale come towards your side one hand on the knee the other hand on the back of your body come into a stretch hold for a few seconds and then again inhale all the way up inhale up stretch exhale come into a twist one more time okay last breath last twist stretch and slowly release during the practice you can leave your palms facing downward or upward whatever feels right to you you can perform a mudra like kyan or chin mudra kyan mudra it says the forefinger stands for a false ego that's why we like to point out with this finger and the middle uh, the thumb stands for God for Lord Vishnu so we can connect our false ego with God but even more the chin mudra means to surrender to God so you place your hands and you surrender to life surrender to the breath surrender to divinity it's very powerful mudra especially during meditation okay we're gonna start by closing our eyes Find yourself in a comfortable sitting position. Your spine is straight. The rest of the body relaxed. Keep your shoulders relaxed, the neck, the upper back and the lower back, the chest and the abdominal, abdominal area, the side of your rib cage your sitting muscles, your legs, your feet, your face muscles, your forehead, your skull, your eyelids, 
completely relaxed and don't forget to smile gentle smile on your lips and smilingly observe the breath feel the sensation of the breath the warmth and the cold of the breath enters your nostrils Meditate about the connection between the breath and the mind. Remember, by slowing down the breath, you're also slowing down the mind. Okay, let's connect with the Divine by chanting three times the mantra OM together. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Okay, we're going to start our practice with three rounds of spinal breathing, Kundalini breathing so we inhale we slide our hands towards our body arch your back exhale round your spine we're gonna do 20 to 30 breaths at the same speed find your own rhythm focus on the movement of the body but not just make the movement external, also focus on the inside. Feel the energy emanating, rising from the Muladhara Chakra all the way up to your higher realms of being. Find the relaxation in the practice. Five more. Last breath and release. Find your own breathing rhythm. Relax your body and keep your spine straight. Doing the practice or doing the breath hold, whenever it feels right for you, you can also practice Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is the squeezing of the perineum muscle. So you can just, like you hold back, you have to go to the toilet and you hold it back. So you squeeze the perineum muscle. That's very powerful, especially during breath hold or right after the practice when you come back and focus on the breath again. Try it out for yourself and play with it. It's also very powerful. It says it awakens the dormant kundalini energy the sleeping snake on the bottom of your spine okay round number two we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more 
fast, a little bit more intense. Inhale and go. Ten more breaths. Remember, focus on the movement within. It's not just an external practice. Three more. And release. Apply Mula Banda if you want. And feel the opening, feel the blood flow, the tingling sensation in your body. It is all good, it is all fine. Focus on your breath. Now in round number three, the first 10 breaths we're gonna do middle speed, then the middle 10 breaths we're gonna do very fast and very strong, and then the last 10 breaths you do very soft, very gentle, till we come to a point we feel the movement more inwards than out outwards, okay? And you focus also with the inhalation, bring the energy up. And with the exhalation, you're letting go and expand. Okay, 30 breaths, last round, spinal breathing. Inhale. Long your spine. Okay, next 10 breaths, very hard, very powerful. And relax, make very gentle movements. Very soft, very calm breathing. and make it more internal than an external practice. Three more breaths. Make it very soft, very slow. Inhale and find your own breathing rhythm. Play with Mula Banda. And focus the awareness on the breath. Three rounds, Kapalabhati, to purify the nadis, the energy channels, to prepare for more deeper pranayama practices. We're going to do three rounds, approximately 30 to 50 breaths in each round. The first round we're going to do slow. You follow my breathing rhythm. Exhalation is active, inhalation is passive. Contract only the belly area, the rest of the body is completely relaxed. Close your eyes, inhale fully, then exhale fully and we start after the exhalation.
exhale fully, hold the breath, squeeze the perineum, glide Mula Bandha, and then you feel the urge to inhale, inhale fully, again hold and squeeze. Find your own breathing rhythm and relax your body, focus the awareness within and as we practice Kapalabhati you can focus completely on the third eye, feel all the energy pumping up towards the third eye chakra. Ok round number two, now a bit faster. Again, 30 to 50 breaths, and you just follow me along. Inhale, and we start after the exhalation. Hold the breath after the exhalation and then inhale, hold the breath and squeeze. And whenever you feel the urge to breathe, just inhale, exhale and follow your own breathing rhythm. That's all very powerful energizing breathwork techniques, but you can also experience the peace and the calmness within. You have to settle down after the technique, let everything settle, focus on your breath, slowing down your breath, slowing down your mind. That's the secret for a deep pranayama session. Okay, round number three, we do it again, same speed, not faster. You just follow me along, inhale and we start after the full exhalation. Exhale, hold, squeeze the perineum and you feel the urge to breathe in, inhale fully and again hold and squeeze. And release, relax. Now we're going to do the breath tap technique, we inhale fully and then we start tapping with our fingertips, with our hands and fists, find your own speed, the focus is not on the breath fall, the focus is just on the tapping. Inhale, exhale fully. Inhale. Hold the breath and stop tapping. And come out of your comfort zone, go a little bit into the stretch zone, but don't go too far. You want to create peace and calm the mind, not agitate the mind. But hold the breath for as long as you comfortably can. Play with the speed, fist, 
fingertips, with the palms, whatever feels right for you, just focus on the tapping. And whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, just relax and exhale and find your own breathing rhythm. But continue on your own. If you can hold the breath longer, that's also fine. And feel the opening in the chest, the tapping sensation. We opened up some nadis, some subtle energy channels in this area so that the heart, the spiritual heart can effulge more, shine more, give more love and kindness. Okay, one more round. We inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold the breath and tap for as long as you comfortably can. And go. And then we feel the urge to breathe, exhale, and again feel the exercise, the sensations in your chest area, the blood flow, the opening, and the calmness of the mind. Keep your spine straight, the rest of the body completely relaxed. Relax your shoulders, your back, your abdominal area, your chest, your sitting muscle, your legs, your feet, your hands, your arms, your face muscles, your forehead, your eyelids. And don't forget to smile. Bring some kindness, some love and compassion towards your breath, towards your mind. Wonderful. Now we're gonna do Nadi Shodana. The name already says purifying the Nadis to really cleanse our subtle energy channel and balance finger line either our left and right side of the body and the brain integration. We always start with the left side, we inhale into the left nostril, we hold the breath for one to two, three seconds, that's up to you. You exhale to the right, you hold for a short moment, you inhale to the right, hold, exhale to the left. This is one cycle, we're gonna do 10 cycles, we do to five, have a short pause, and then again we do another five. The first five we do a little bit stronger so we can open up our nostrils. Actually, what is very good, um, we do some um, unblock the nose technique. I will show you now. Okay, you inhale, exhale, pinch your nose, and then sway hold your breath or not if you have. And then you keep on nodding, keep on nodding, or you sway hold your breath from left to right. It's both fine. As long as you can, and then you feel the urge to breathe, you let go. Inhale, find your own breathing rhythm. That's very powerful. 
to open up the nostrils temporarily. It's not permanent, but for the breathing technique, you can do it one to five times. You will see the breathing will be much better. So we're going to do one time together. Inhale, exhale. Pinch your nose, way hold your breath. Inhale, whenever you feel the urge to inhale. And if you need more opening, then just pause the video and continue on your own. Actually, my left nostril is a bit blocked today. Anyways, okay, we're gonna do Nadi Shodana, five rounds, a little bit stronger to open up the channels. Inhale, exhale. Block your right nostril with your thumb, forefinger, middle finger on your thumb fold, and with the ring and pinky finger, you open up the left nostril. Then you inhale to the left, close, hold for a moment, exhale to the right. Hold, inhale to the right. Hold, exhale to the left. Continue on your own, four more breaths. And as you inhale, focus how the prana enters your nostrils. You focus on the third eye, how it gets purified and how the prana leaves the other side, the right nostril. And then again, you inhale and you hold the breath you focus on the third eye and after the exhalation you focus on the emptiness, on the peace of the mind and really focus, make it very meditative. If thoughts are coming, thoughts are rising, that's fine. Focus on the breath, on the in and exhalation. Okay, I'm going to join you for two rounds. Okay, last round, whenever you exhale to the left side, please stop. Now the last round, we again do five breaths, but we're gonna do it very gently and very soft. You can actually also close slightly the side of the outside of the nose, so you can breathe slower. You can adjust the breathing by touching slightly the nostril on the side, okay? Otherwise, you can also just breathe very soft, very consciously, inhale to the left, all the way up, hold the breath, making a very in internal exercise, okay? We're gonna do five rounds, continue on your own after the first breath round. So inhale, to the left, close your right nostril, very soft, very calm, as long as you can. Then you hold the breath for as long as you comfortably can, not too long, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Then you exhale, and after the exhalation, also hold the breath for a short moment. 
and inhale through the right. Hold the breath for about 10 seconds, whatever feels right to you. And then you exhale to the left. You again hold the breath. This is one round. Please continue on your own. We're going to do five breaths, so four more. the exhalation you can also clo close the nostril hold the breath and really feel the connection with the mind you are in control you're overriding the system by consciously breathing and during the exhalation really feel the prana going out of the system and then you hold the breath, but still there's a spark of life inside of you. Focus on that life inside during the breath hold. Make it not just an external exercise. Really internalize the whole breathing practice. And focus on the third eye. Feel the opening, the activate, the activation, opening up for higher states of being. Wonderful. I want to join you for one round. Okay, last round, after your last inhalation to the right, then hold, and then you exhale to the left without breath hold, and find your own breathing rhythm, and feel the energy, the blood flow, feel the Nadi is purified by this wonderful practice. And smilingly observe your breath. Okay, we're going to end the session by doing two rounds of Pramavi Pranayam. For the first round, we're going to do six breaths, and the second round, we're going to do nine breaths. We start with an inhalation, 
close your eyes, your ears, and exhale six times to the sound of OM. Okay, we're gonna do nine rounds, nine breaths, and after the practice, listen to the sound, after the sound, keep your eyes closed, and feel the opening in the mind, the opening in the heart, and focus on the peace, on the spaciousness within. Okay, inhale fully and then you do nine breaths on your own, Brahmari Pranayam.
I want you now to focus on your heart chakra. Bring the awareness, the breath, deeply within. As you inhale, fill up your heart with fresh new life, with fresh prana energy. And with the exhalation, you expand this energy all around your being, opening up. Focus the breath on the heart only. Very soft and gentle and not so deep breaths anymore. Inhale love, compassion and kindness. And with the exhalation, expand these few qualities all around you. Emerge your being in kindness, compassion and love. The heart is the place where the soul resides. It's the place where you as spiritual being is present all the time. You are Sat Chit Ananda. You are eternal, never born, you will never die. You are always there for eternity. Chit, you're full of knowledge, wisdom, consciousness, awareness, expanding everywhere. And you are Ananda. Happiness, joy, bliss, spiritual ecstasy that's you you're not the body you're not the mind you are the spiritual soul having a human experience at the moment
I want you to now focus on something in your life what gives you the greatest joy, the greatest happiness. Maybe it was some experience in your past, some nice meditation, some family meeting, the birth of your children, the company with some loved ones, a spiritual pilgrimage to India, whatever it is, find this moment and connect with it deeply in your heart. See the picture in front of you and see yourself, frame yourself into this picture. What you were, how do you look, how does it smell there, what do you feel, what do you experience, what do you hear. Engage all your senses and your mind. And not just see this experience, also feel it, bring some emotion towards it. And all this joy you feel right now, it's always accessible in the present moment. And now offer this joy, offer it back to the universe, back to life back to God himself with all the gratitude you can offer in that moment. Feel deep gratitude for your life, for the opportunity to practice today pranayama. Not everyone has the time. Be grateful for whatever it is in life and fill up your heart deep with this gratitude. Rub your hands together, place them in the middle of your chest and focus deeply on your heart. Feel the happiness, the joy and this feeling of deep gratitude. Connect deeply with it right now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your chest. And we're going to chant a very ancient and sacred mantra. Very powerful mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Three times together. Inhale and you follow me along. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Slowly rub your hands together, make them nice and warm and place them over your eyelids and over your forehead. And now deeply look within yourself. What you feel, what you experience. And see the space you create inside. 
this is going to help you also with the brain body mind connection then slowly massage your eyelids your forehead and your skull your face muscles your neck your chest your abdominal area side of the rib cage your lower back and your upper back under both armpits your upper and lower arms your hands and your fingers on both sides that's very important to assimilate all this energy now into our body the buttocks the sitting muscles the legs the thighs and we end with the feet Namaste. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. Of course, pranayama it's much more powerful if we can meet in person because we can feel the energy. Um, it's always kind of weird to talking to a camera, but I really try to focus on you that I picture you, all the people I know. Um, to practice together with me to make it more natural um, This was a simple breathwork routine you can also do it more faster the techniques and at the end you let you let everything settle But I like usually in between to always focus on the Breath to let go of the breath to make the mind calm and soft The next week will be also we learn a few energizing techniques um, you can also check out my channel there's many techniques already learn how to do ujjayi pranayama learn to do um, strong yogic breathing for example um, there's lots of guided sessions as well so check it out maybe to prepare yourself check out my warm-up routine before you practice pranayama and yeah let's keep on going every day a short practice of 10 20 minutes and you will see your life will change um, the next week on saturday it will be a little bit more um, intense to take the practice um, we will go very deep um, we will clean up some emotions some blockages it's a really hard cleansing practice to really get rid of all the unwanted habits and emotions in our life if we practice consistently thank you so much for watching from my heart to your heart namaste